Welcome to The Hub. The My Products, Free Trials, Reports, and Help tabs are visible to all users. Teachers will also see the Cloud Management tab, but it is disabled in Administration View for visual clarity. The two tabs unique to Admin View are District Administration and School Administration. This is currently the District Admin View, which has both. If you are a school administrator, you will only see the School Administration tab. We recognize that districts have many possible organizational structures. Administrators is a catch-all term that could refer to special education directors, special education coordinators, program specialists, curriculum supervisors, and many more. For our purposes in the Hub, we think of a school administrator as someone who coordinates one school or group of teachers, and a district administrator as someone who coordinates many. To get started, let's look at the District Administration tab. The District Administration tab exists solely for organizing the structure of your district or program. Curriculum, software, and student data are all handled in the Student Administration and Reports tab, which we will discuss later in the video. Within the District Administration tab, you can create schools, create school administrators, and manage school administrators including adding and removing schools. Let's try creating a few schools. Click the Create School button and enter the name of the school. Selecting a school type is optional, but will help school administrators search for schools, especially in large districts. When finished, click Add. Click the yellow Edit button to modify existing schools. The left side of the District Administration tab shows school administrators. Depending on how your district was set up, you may already have school administrator accounts created. Our sample district is starting as a clean slate, so let's create a few. Each new user requires a valid email and password. However, for security reasons, the password will not be directly emailed to the users. We recommend distributing that information directly to the teacher. Username, first name, and last name are optional, but recommended for organizational purposes. These can be edited later. To assign schools to a school administrator, select the administrator's name and then click the plus sign that appears. Clicking the arrow next to an administrator's name will show all schools currently assigned to them. To remove a school, Select it and then click the minus sign next to it. Both district and school administrators can use the school administration tab to organize teachers and students. Within the school administration tab, you can create teacher accounts, manage existing teacher accounts, manage existing student accounts, and manage teacher products, including software and curriculum. Use the drop down menu to select a school. For larger districts, you may want to use the school type filter to narrow down results. The first option, No School Assigned, will display any teachers in the district without a school assignment and give you the option to assign them. Depending on your setup, you may see teachers already assigned to schools, or you may need to create new teacher accounts. To create a teacher, click on a school and click the plus sign. From here, it is the same process shown earlier to create a school admin. Teachers can also be moved or merged. To move a teacher, click their name and then the suitcase icon. Select the school you would like them moved to and hit OK. The Merge Teacher button will delete one account and move all its existing data to a new account. The two main scenarios where this would be useful are if a teacher has left the school and you would like to transfer their data to the new teacher, or if you have accidentally created duplicate accounts. Start by selecting the account that you would like to remove and click the Merge icon. From the menu, select the teacher you would like to move the content to and click OK. A prompt will appear to confirm you want to proceed, as this choice cannot be undone. Reminder, you want to merge the teacher you are getting rid of into the teacher you are keeping. The third teacher icon, Manage Teacher Products, is for managing subscriptions and codes. This will be discussed later in the video. 
Use the right side of the screen to edit student accounts. The first two buttons, Merge Student and Move Student, function the same as Merge Teacher and Move Teacher. The third option is Share Student. This allows one student to show up in multiple teachers' accounts. The same option is available on teacher accounts in the Cloud Management tab. An icon of two linked figures indicates the student is currently being shared. An icon with a single figure indicates the student has not been shared yet. Both will bring up the sharing menu. Use the email field at the top to share the student with a new teacher account. Each teacher account must have an active subscription to launch titles for the students, though all shared accounts will be able to see reports. Now that the district is set up, let's explore the most powerful tools available to administrators. The Manage Products menu allows administrators to see which products are assigned to teachers. It also gives administrators the power to move codes and subscriptions. Using the Manage Products button in the upper right will bring up the menu for the entire district, which can be navigated by school and teacher. Alternately, an individual teacher's Manage Products menu can be launched from the school administration tab. The left side of the screen shows subscriptions for our web-based software titles. The right side shows codes for curriculum products. Normally, a teacher redeems a code for themselves using the Redeem Code button in the upper left. Administrators can do this for their own accounts as well, and the associated curriculum will appear in the My Products tab. However, if you enter a code and check the Redeem to District box, it will be added to Manage Teacher Products. In our first example, the administrator is redeeming a code for a web-based software subscription, which appears on the left side of the screen. You will see the expiration date of the subscription, as well as the amount of student users allowed on that subscription. When the administrator selects a teacher, selects the subscription, and then clicks Assign Subscription, it moves to the top of the screen. It will now appear in that teacher's Cloud Management tab. In our second example, the administrator redeems a curriculum code. This will appear on the right side of the Manage Products screen, and once applied to the teacher, will appear in their My Products tab. The Revoke Code button will remove any curriculum associated with that code from the current teacher's account and free it up to be assigned to a new teacher. The Revoke Subscription button functions the same, but with subscriptions. Note that the current expiration date is preserved when a subscription is transferred to a new user. Last but not least is the Reports tab. Within the Reports tab, you can view reports for all students assigned to teachers who are assigned to you, and view reports as PDFs or print them. To get started, select the type of report. Results shows percentage of correct answers. Usage shows total number of minutes spent in a program. Next, select School, Teacher, and, if you would like a more narrow search, Student and Software. You can also narrow the search by adjusting start and end date. For a more detailed breakdown, select one result and click the View button. You can also print results using the Print button at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for joining us on this tour of all the features available in the Hub Administrator site. If you have any questions or would like to have your district set up with administrator privileges, please reach out to your account manager or email info at attainmentcompany.com.